we will code this uh, product card. We have this effect. We can select colors. We can select sizes. We can buy now. It has this kind of good effect. We can read features. Let's start coding. If you need e-commerce development services, check my portfolio and the contact below. So this uh, blue background, this is uh, this div. So this is my main page. It has absolutely ignore everything up here. So this is just like we ha I have some div and I have this uh, component. This is the component of this card and we will code everything in this component. So let's just create this component. You can find this code in my GitHub, but just make sure to find this component in the components folder. Uh, other components are for other tutorials. So let's go to this component and start coding. So first, let's use client. Then we will import a bunch of stuff. So you're going to need card, button, and accordion from ShadCN. So Google ShadCN UI and click installation, select your framework and copy this. And then just press enter to everything. And then go here to the side to button and copy this. So button, this is for button. Install it and install from for accordion and card. So now let's continue with coding. Uh, we're gonna define this product. So it's gonna be ID one name, brand, price rating review. This is just so we are coding front end only now. Uh, so uh, image summerhead webp. So you can find image in the public folder on the GitHub. But other images are for other tutorials. Just just find this image. Description, features. Colors, we're gonna, this is array of objects, sizes, and care, just a string. So let's export the component, and let's say selected color, we're gonna set the default to the first color, and selected size, set the default to the second size, return something, so let's make a card, if I save this, let's see what we have. So this is what this is what we have nothing right now. Continue div. So the left half we're gonna have the image and div. So what is this div? This is some up, this is some div. So we should have image. I'm not sure why we don't see the image, but let's continue coding. So below that, let's do uh, with one half again. So below this div in, in the card overflow auto and then make another div and product brand and now we see the image and we see the product brand i think that's because this div of the image didn't have any height that's why we didn't set any height so uh, that's how it should be so let's continue coding so this is then product name below if i save let's see we have this product name the image is getting bigger as well Let's go below div, div. So we are drawing stars. Let's just make an array of, from zero to four. So five elements and let's draw a sun. And so for each, we're gonna go uh, by stars one by one. We're gonna check the rating for each star. If rating is four, we're gonna paint the first four stars yellow and the next one we're gonna leave empty. So we're gonna check how many stars we got. So we have four stars and then the last one is empty. If I can zoom here. Let's continue. This is uh, just gonna say how many reviews we got. Let's continue. We're gonna say uh, product description and then div below. Uh, this is, so we are selecting color now. We're gonna make a div map all colors and make a button for each color so this is the class name uh, this this is what so these are backticks make sure whenever you see backticks i have sometimes these backticks when i have this these like uh, variables so make sure to uh, type the syntax exactly so the so this is what what i'm going to explain code after i show you this so we have colors we have like this zoom effect and the selected color will have this ring outside so that ring comes from this logic so if it's if selected color is this color dot name then we're gonna have this ring otherwise we won't have this ring and style 
is this uh, background color so this color the hex so on click we're gonna set this color to be selected so if I can now select any color let's continue uh, size let's select size so div let's map sizes and then let's say button uh, this is gonna set selected size so I can click any button to set this size to be selected and let's just type in size so the same thing if this size is selected then we're, then we're gonna have these uh, these like CSS so let's see the selected size has this CSS and let's go below accordion this is this is the expanding element accordion item this is features accordion trigger features content we're gonna have a list so let's just map features uh, so each uh, element so I'm gonna get accordion here features and I can expand it you see how the image is also getting zoomed as this is getting so this is what I how I chose to do it you can uh, you can just set set fixed size of the image if you don't want to do it okay uh, let's continue with another accordion item that's gonna be care so instructions care instructions uh, and then the content we're gonna have product.care so if I go here I say see care instructions let's go below this is gonna be button so div div another span put in the price this means like to fix two means like to two decimal points and then div below wind icon sun icon and droplets icon so let me see what it does we have this kind of icon this is just like to look nice nothing else then we have button so this has a lot of like transitions and stuff this is gonna be the buy now button so that's it we finished you see how this button has this kind of good effect this is it thank you for watching if you need e-commerce development services check my portfolio and contact below see you in the next video